Jennifer here and I wanted to share with you the fabric envelope that I created using the Ooh La La Dazzle Tassel Kit and um, this this envelope was inspired by all of you crafters that um, have inspired me with their beautiful loaded envelopes and I decided to make one with fabric. I was at the um, Dollar Tree and I picked up one of these pot holders from the Dollar Tree. They're the neoprene pot holders, but because it had a pocket in it, I thought, oh my gosh, pocket letter, pocket loaded envelope. So I was all inspired. And um, so anyway, this is what I came up with. And after I show you all the yummies that are in here, and I feel like I could still put more stuff in here. Um, you'll see the the process video afterwards, okay? So I started off obviously with that uh, that pot holder, and I just decided to use my tilde papers. I have been kind of neglecting my tilde papers, and I wanted to use them for this project. And so you can see that I created um, this little vellum envelope. It's got a little belly band on it. So in the envelope I have these little tags and they're really cute. They're just little tags that you can put on cards, little um, little gifts, tuck in a you know any kind of gift or whatever just to make your project look cute. And some of them don't have any sentiments, but most of the sentiments are, you know, just kind of basic, you are awesome for you, these little heart ones. And so I gotta use my dies and I've gotta start using my stamps, my papers. Um, I have so many things that I love and I never get to use them. So I will put that back together in a minute. And then I have a little card here, and I guess you can use that for your currently. I made this on my envelope punch board with a tilde um, die cut. And then I just used a little tiny um, Velcro and then a very basic card. And then I just die cut this little piece on the inside so you, I can write my sentiment or whatever I could do currently or a little bit about me on there and then I have this real pretty tag and I use the happiness is homemade from Tilda and um, I put the two layers of the nesting dies you know I cut out the paper and then put a pretty flower here and then I use this pocket uh, die. I think it's a Brenda Walton die. And um, I just recently picked that up and I put the little, you can use them as bookmarks or little t gift tags. And then you can um, either, I was thinking maybe I could put another piece of some cream colored paper and you can write, you can journal on there or write something or put that on a card that'd be kind of cute too so I put that in there and then I also put this um, paper clip and it's like a, a shabby bow and I didn't put it like I didn't glue it on because I wanted it to be where if the person wanted to take it off and use it on a different project um, you would just slide it off of the um, paper clip. So that's kind of like what I decided to do and um, I just kind of stuck it right on there. So it looks really cute and really shabby but it also can be used for something else. And then in here I did I did uh, a tutorial on this flower and I put this you know on on a uh, what do you call it straw so I thought that looked really cute and if you wanted to you could take the straw out and use this on a project also and then I did another one of these tags and I used the pretty uh, fabric that Doreen put in the dazzle tassel kit I just thought it was so pretty that embroidery and on the 
like chiffon it's just beautiful very shabby and then on in here I did a large uh, Brenda Walton this is a medallion or I guess it's one of the medium sized medallions and then a I did some die cutting of some doily paper doilies I put a wild orchid craft flower on there and then I just glittered it up here's some a little thing I got from Violet she, she did this on one of her projects and I thought it was so cute the little paper twirls and then um, I did uh, one of the tilde buttons from the paper pad and then I just put it on one of the straws so you can tuck it in and this is what the fabric um, pocket looks like. I made two pockets. Well, this one was already, you know, part of the pot holder and then this one was one that I created. And you can see all of the ooh la la trims that I used on this. And then I also used some ooh la la fabrics and laces right here on the side to dangle off and if you wanted to you could hang this using this little thing so I kind of left that functional you could cut that off if you wanted to and then on the back I have a little belly band here so if you wanted to tuck in anything else like gifts and stuff which I have a few that I can tuck in there like stickers or um, you know maybe some rhinestone or any kind of paper clips or anything that you might want to bag up and put you can stick that back there and um, have all kinds of space in here for all kinds of yummies so that is my loaded envelope made with fabric and paper obviously because all the little elements that I stuffed in here are all made with paper so I love the mixture of paper and fabric and I think it'll be a beautiful gift for someone to receive. I think that um, it's just really pretty. I just had so much fun with this project and trying to figure out, you know, what kind of things I wanted to put in there and um, etc. So there's other, there's like tons of other things I could probably put in here. I just... Um, just wanted to be able to show you kind of that if you wanted to go to the Dollar Tree and pick up a pot holder, you know, you could pick one up for a dollar and easily alter it. And look how beautiful it looks. It's just really fun and what a pretty presentation of little yummies that you can give somebody. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned after this, you'll see the process. And uh, thank you guys so much for your positive words, your encouragement. It's just so uplifting and I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the process video. Bye bye for now.
Thank you.